Welcome. The purpose of today's video is to show the basic features of a smart board. The smart board you see here is the elementary version of our smart boards here in the Park Hill School District. One like this can be found in every elementary classroom, no matter what building you're at. Next, we'll show you the secondary smart board and a few key differences that exist between the two. However, overall they function the same. So the basic features of the elementary smart board, the, the general idea overall is that you can use the smart board to touch the screen of your computer, any computer that's connected. So as you can see here, if I wanted to access my recycle bin, I could just click on it and it's selected. The same exists for any other item on the screen that you'd want to touch. So looking at the basic features here, you see that we have a pen tray. And the pen tray is filled with four different colored markers. And if you pick one up, you'll notice that once you remove the pen, a light illuminates showing that the pen has been pulled out. That pen color is determined by the light that's illuminated. So if I pull out the green pen as well, since it's the last one that was out and the green light is illuminated, no matter which one of these I write with, it'll be green. So I'll return those here. You'll also notice that there's an eraser that functions just like an eraser on any whiteboard you might be familiar with using. And then there are two buttons that are located here. The left button is a keyboard button that will allow you to bring up an on-screen keyboard in the event that you want to type, as you can see here. There's also a mouse click button. So every click that I make, every uh, pressure point that I make on the smart board is considered a left click. But if I click this button here with the picture of the mouse, that makes one right click. So if you wanted to right click on something to maybe check spelling, or you want to do copy paste like you might be familiar with doing from the front of the room, you can right click by clicking there and then selecting where you'd like to click. So now that we've taken a look at the elementary board, let's take a quick look at the secondary board and note the differences that exist between the two. The first thing that you'll notice is there are only two pens in the pen tray here. If you remember, the elementary board had four pens. This one only has two, and they're really easy to use. You just pick up a pen, and right here you can select what color you want to write with for the ink. So I already have Smart Notebook open. We'll get more into Smart Notebook here in a little bit. But if I want to pick up the pen, I can start writing with black ink. If I want to switch ink colors, I can pick uh, my color by simply selecting the color option, and again, start writing. But what really makes the secondary board different from that elementary board is the fact that you can have multiple touches at the same time. Remember, the elementary board only allows one touch. Well, this one, I could have two students working on the board at the same time, which is really beneficial for learning. You can also have and select two items at one time with your fingers or touch in multiple points as well. So that makes this tray just a little bit different to use. The other thing is that the eraser functions just the same as the elementary board. And if you'll remember, we had a keyboard option on the elementary board. It was closer to the center. Here it's located on the far left. So by pressing keyboard, the keyboard will pop up. And again, you can utilize that. And remember that every click is a left click on the board unless I use the mouse icon that's here on your pen tray as well. And I click that, and that gives me one right click on the object that I'm working with. The other thing that I want you to be aware of is how to calibrate this board. In the next video, I'll show you how to do that with the elementary board. It's very simple on this board. Right over here on the far left near the power button, you'll see that there is an icon that looks like a crossbar. If you simply press it once, on your board will pop up targets that you need to hit. It's very simple to use. Just grab a pen and try and be as precise as possible by pressing the pen in the center of the target. Where you release last is what it records, and the more accurate you are, the better that the board will work for you. The only other difference here on the pen tray that you should be aware of is that there is a power button. The elementary board automatically comes on when you turn on your computer. However, with this board, if you press the power button, it will turn off the power and the board is not usable. When you click the power button on, it'll give it just a minute to connect with your computer, and then it will be ready to go. The secondary board is camera-based instead of touch-based. The reason I tell you this, there are four small cameras in each of the corners. If you are wearing something around your neck or you have a bracelet on that interrupts the cameras here, you may notice that the board starts to do some strange things. So if you experience something that's kind of weird, uh, you want to make sure, think about, okay, am I wearing something on my wrist or on my neck that might be interfering with the board itself. Other than that, this board is really easy to use. 
In the next video, I'll show you how to use Smart Notebook, which is the program I have open here. Smart Notebook is really the best place to leverage the power of the Smart Board, and so I'm excited to show you the features that will make teaching in your classroom really easy.